Well, in June of 2019, we introduced you to Jeff Banning, an artist who can carve anything, and we mean anything, out of wood. Here's Emily Stroud with a story from our archives. Can you hear the creativity in that chainsaw? Jeff Banning has painted motorcycles and carved ice. Then about two and a half years ago, this artist tried something new. And a lot of people tell me, I can't even draw a stick figure. And the first thing I tell them is, good thing we're not carving stick figures. No sticks here, just big logs, custom cut to order, wood carved creations. I do a lot of dogs and stuff for people, and so they want to kind of have it look like their dog. Uh, and so they'll send me pictures, and then I will try and replicate that as best I can. He says sometimes the log itself suggests how to craft the carving. Customer wants a bear or a dog, and I'll look at the log for a while just to kind of figure out what the best pose is, what's going to be the best angle um, for it, and then, uh, and then start from there. He works with chainsaws in three sizes, and when a piece is mostly complete, he turns to other tools. I've got different grinders, angle grinders, and, and uh, burr bits and stuff that I use to add a lot of fine detail and fur and stuff, and, uh, and then sanding it up and burning it uh, also helps because it adds depth and dimension. This one with an eagle on top is one of three he's carved on location from a stump. That adds some pressure. The pressure goes up because you can't make a mistake. If I make a mistake on a on a, on a just a regular log, I can start over and get another log and start fr fresh. Not so for a 15 foot tall stump, but he doesn't make many miscuts. But we don't call those mistakes. We call those design enhancements. From log to lovely, what looked like a lump of wood became a bulldog. Jeff mostly makes animals, birds, bears, and beavers, dogs, cows, even some raccoons. Humans are hard. People are really hard to do um, to get the anatomy, and especially females, um, because they have softer lines. I have done a few uh, Native American uh, pieces, um, but it's very challenging, and it's one of those skills that I'm still working on. While he's working on a piece, he's a little nervous about how the customer will react. But then... But when I do deliver it and I see the expression on their face and I see their excitement or, hey, that looks just like my dog or that's exactly what I wanted or even better, that's more than I ever expected. Um, it, it's very satisfying, very satisfying. That's the satisfying sound of an artist at work. I'm Emily Stroud, live at 5 at 4. What talent. That attention to detail is so impressive. And the name of Jeff's business is Wood Carved creations. We talked with Jeff Banning this afternoon and he's been busy making some new carvings. One is on Teleco Lake and one is up on Norris Lake in the Sharps Chapel area. It's a full size eagle with a six foot wingspan. He says business has started to pick up in the past month. There's the eagle there. You can follow his Facebook page. It's Wood Carved Creations. Impressive.